as you can see from the title, when I compared Crazy Horse to Elon Musk, I'd like you to imagine a battle, right? Who would win? Who would you want to be? And I think you can see by the way that I'm dressed who I would choose in that battle between two amazing people that we'll both never know because one is past and one is present and we don't know which future into which we'll go. But they're going to tell us when we look at each story in a little more light that the path that we choose, while maybe not wrong or right, will be the one that determines the path of our soul. And so this is an important question I'm asking you. Who would you choose to be? Crazy Horse or Elon Musk? Wild, wired, or free? Because you can't really do both in what's coming down the pike. And when I read this book in the last few days, just something lit up in a brand new way. And I knew this once before because Russell Means had given an interview in which he said, Welcome to the reservation. So I just need to say before we go any further, while I am white and woman, I should never be wearing what you see around my neck. I've never worn it in the 30 plus years, or maybe almost 30, in which I've owned it because it's not made for woman or white. It's made for the man because what it does is it holds within the truth. And if you lie, it will choke you. And so I made the decision today to wear this not because I'm trying to disrespect another culture or another way to be. I'm wearing it because what we're going to say today is so important. I'm hoping you'll excuse the taboo because it's really about both you and me being free regardless of what color we are, what religion we practice, whether we're man, woman, or child. If we're on this planet we're having to make a choice, and that choice is between wild and wired. And it may be too late, but I wanted to say that in the time of Crazy Horse, he had that decision to make for himself and his people. Do we go on to the reservation, or do we remain wild Lakota, as they were called, to live the way we were born, the way that nature and God called them to live, to roam free, to hunt buffalo, to live and move with the seasons and together be what they'd always been. But then the white man came in, and we all know the story from the white man's side or the Native American side, depending on which part is your history, which part is pain, which is glory. And it was just bad for both sides because nobody won, no one ever does. And we're at that point in time again where we can't stop what's coming in. And this time it isn't a human, it's technology, it's AI. And as Elon Musk told us, he's made a decision to go to the dark side and say, put the wires in your head. And I promise you, you won't be dead. You'll be better, the same way the Lakota said. You will be better if you accept the white man's ways. Just take his gifts and depend on him morning, noon, night, and day, and see how that plays until the day came when they took the guns and the horses away and they said, you can't be a nomad anymore. And anyone who knows me, well, there's nothing worse that you could say. Today, but when someone says, no, you can't go anywhere, even though it was your home, only this time we're being told, no, you can't go anywhere not just because your social credit is low, but because we're going to jack into your mind and make it so. Because we're going to control your thoughts, and when we're bored or tired or ready for you to move on, we're going to flip a switch, and guess what? Boom, you're gone. But you're going to have the story that's been told that says, your entire being has been downloaded onto a hard drive, and you will be immortal. You will live forever. And if that's not true put me in a choke hold because I can tell you those are the words that are being said become the cyborg become one with the whole and the irony is is what the Native Americans knew and what people have known since the beginning of our time is that is the solution to be one with what created us but we have to be very careful because the illusion is saying be one with what we made, this wire, this system, 
this game that we play. Don't pay attention to the ancient wisdom. Don't pay attention to the past. Don't pay attention to history or lessons that have been learned and asked of you over and over and over and which we keep failing because if we didn't, we wouldn't still be here walking down this road yet again, terrified to face our fear, which is to say no. You can't put wires in my head to say no onto this reservation. I won't go because what crazy horse knew is that if he didn't say yes, his people would die. But what did they do as we watch time go by is culturally they died. And you can look at me in this example and see cultural appropriation is the loss of which it feels like it happened. But I'm asking us to think bigger and beyond the limits of this world and this body and the stories that we've been told and grown up on. This is a period in time in which we are setting ourselves down a very long path. That if you choose the wires that Elon Musk asks come into your brain for easy access pass to which you can't say no, no matter who asks, being light or good, bad or dark, it doesn't matter because you've given control over to the only thing that you still had left. And even if it wasn't the best, it was yours. You could make it better. You could work on it. You could try and become something different or not. But the minute you say yes, it's over because they don't come out. You've just given away control of your life forever. And this time the reservation isn't a piece of land. It's your humanity. It's you as woman and man. And so that's the question I ask to you when I say, please choose, stay human, because this is that critical point in the path that Crazy Horse faced and Elon Musk has chosen. And the two can't meet because they're two very different paths. Do we stay wild or do we get wired? Because once you choose that road, there's no going back. And as any of you who watched me before knows, I chose wild a long time ago and one of the reasons I know that I have to live this way is it trains me to become stronger to say no because I can do without. I can accept hardship and pain and struggle. I can live in a very simple way and I can sweat and cry and freeze and be hungry and not give in and not go back to the reservation. And for me I called it the system. And I won't go back because I would rather die. I would rather lay out here on the curb and fry in this terrible sun right now, along with the flies, <laughs> is that I've done the work. And my question is, will you do it too? Because if you read this book, you're going to learn something, as most people won't join you. And that's what I learned for 20 plus years as a social worker that no one can make anyone change. It's got to come from within and almost nobody will because we're terrified to look at our fear and our pain. We're terrified to own our courage and our strength. And yesterday or a few days ago I made a video and I asked you, will you love? But that isn't enough. It's not good enough. Do you have the strength to do what love asks you to? And I say for those of you who get what we're coming up and what we're about to go through, the question's going to be, can you be strong enough to love no matter what you see your brothers and sisters do as they give up their humanity and you will be asked to too. In fact, you already have and most of us have lost more than we'll ever get back and the Lakota knew that but some of them caved and that is part of the reason that the roads became paved. But the other is, is that civilization, it's going to move on whether we want it to or not. And so here's the most critical point of this whole thing. You're not going to win. We're not going to win. I know I chose this road not to win in the end, but to pass the tests and the trials that are in this life that are asking me to be stronger than I was at a child, that are asking me to grow up and be in such a way that I can endure whatever I have to and still say, I am wild and I am free because I choose to stay human. I choose to hold on to my humanity and what I've done and the only thing I know how to do is I can't convince you. I can only show you how to do it too by building in that strength from the inside out 
by not looking to the world to say no and get the nod and say you made the right decision. Just follow me. Just plug in and you will see that pleasure will be yours all day and all night. And you won't be able to unplug even though that pleasure will turn into a terrifying fright and nightmare in ways you can't even understand. If you want to see your future, I suggest you read this book, The Journey of Crazy Horse. It's not about him. It's about his time. It's about his choice. It's about the way he moved beyond the limits and made decisions that he couldn't come back from and how his people, the people, we are people. We make those same choices now. And the truth is, most of us don't know why and we don't know how to do different. And I say, yes, you can. Because it's the love and the strength that in the end will take you through and let you decide, will you be wired or will you be wild? And only you can make that choice for you. But all I can tell you is it's not easy and it's hard to do. And you're not going to win in the long term or even the short term, but only after we leave this world and this place. Because it isn't about what happens here. All that matters is the voice you hear and that you listen to and the decision you make, not from your head, but from your heart. Wired or wild, Elon Musk or crazy. I know who I will be. And so this taboo, so all I can say with or without this symbol that asks me to tell you the truth is that the decision will be yours and it's coming soon. And if you don't prepare not to survive but to have the strength to say in the eyes of everyone who's going to be coming at you and terrifying you with their lies, will you stay human? And choose to stay wild, or will you give up as we sacrifice the child within? Because innocence goes when we say, that's the end.